Hey folks, today we're going to be walking through the Therathink provider portal. So let's go ahead and sign in. We're going to quickly go through your provider information to start so that you get a good sense of what we need from you from the provider side so you're able to add your requisite information quickly and easily. You'll go to your provider profile at the top and then click on my account to be able to access and see this information specifically. In this case, it's going to be your practice name and your name, the office location that you have, a tax ID, uh, which would be either a social or an EIN, uh, your billing MPI, as well as a rendering MPI. They could be the one and the same if you don't have a uh, billing MPI or group MPI. We can, of course, facilitate multiple office locations and mailing addresses. Um, you can also upload a voided check for us to file ERA uh, and EFT registration forms for you. And then you'll see here a credit card um, with a not real address in Fake Town, Washington. Um, so just to note here, uh, you will eventually see your invoices with us as well. Here, you can also click on Provider Profile and then Therathing Invoices to find that as well. This will generate, of course, when you do have invoices. That's your Provider prof Profile. Again, back to the dashboard. Instead of going to the Client's Index right now, let's add a client. Go on to the client's navigation menu there, click add client. Let's make sure to check eligibility and benefits. Uh, we'll notice that the example uh, street address of our office location has been set here. Let's go ahead and add a client. And we'll just select the first diagnosis here. It's available and the first insurance company. I'm just adding fake information for now to show off how this works. And we'll skip adding them with an address right now. We can add a secondary insurance company if necessary, upload insurance cards, add a note about this client, as well as quite a few optional fields. But of course we can go back and add them later too. So uh, not a problem. Let's go ahead and click on add client though. Now you'll notice that we do need some information to be added to this client's profile to be completed. But we have quite a bit of data here to access. You'll notice the note that we just added there. We can add an email and phone number, set up weekly appointments. And again, there's a notification there to let you know that you need to confirm that. Just adding a fake address. And now you'll notice that there is no longer a message here and this client's profile is completed. You'll be able to see their insurance information that we had added. When we complete our eligibility and benefits, which you'll notice is tick boxed here, you'll see these fields change with the patient responsibility, deductible, and coinsurance if they do have it. You can add clinical notes uh, about this client in general, upload documents for this client in particular, um, see the appointments that you've added, which we'll get to in just a moment, as well as generate statements for that client. But to do so, we need to add some appointments. Let's go ahead and do so right now. Under the appointments uh, tab at the top, click on add multiple appointments. Let's dive into the one of the best features of our EHR. You can click on and select any of the clients that you have in your account. Let's go ahead and select Mary Sue we just spoke about. And you'll notice all that information from what we just added is automatically populated. So of course you can update these and add or change CPT codes and diagnoses and select many different dates of service as you'd like. Let's say that we had an intake. And we can add all sorts of dates of service quickly and efficiently here. Scroll down to submit appointments. So you'll notice you'll be able to quickly add your week's worth of appointments from this page directly. And if you need more than this many rows of appointments, just click on add more rows 
to automatically be able to continue to add more and more rows to submit your appointments. So you can add quite a few all at once from here directly. Let's go ahead and click on our client's index where we'll notice our new, new client that we just created, Mary Sue. Click on their name and we can see that we've created three appointments for this client and now we'll notice them here under the appointments tab. You can see quite a bit of information just from here. You can also now generate a statement specifically for that client with a select date range. And you can also email them the client or generate a super bill for them and email them as well. Of course, you need to have saved an email address inside of their account to be able to do so. Let's go ahead and look at the appointments for our new client, Mary Sue. And you'll notice now that there's a not filed claim status, meaning that these appointments have yet to be submitted over to um, this insurance company. But you'll also notice as we made that uh, update there for a crisis session, uh, we had a $150 copay that we actually added on that uh, multiple ad appointments page that we just saw. So let's go ahead and dive specifically into one appointment so you guys can get a sense of the depth of billing that we can go to uh, just from your view and we have quite a bit more uh, options as a biller as well. So you'll notice that there are add-on CPT codes that can be selected here, multiple diagnoses of course, so uh, and we encourage you to you know use the correct number of diagnoses. If there is a secondary policy, feel free to do so. We can add more than the four as well for the diagnoses. If it's an EAP or if you have some sort of specific modifier or perhaps we need to, to uh, submit a corrected claim because you had tried to submit this and they got denied, happy to help with that. Of course, anytime we want to do anything, we just update the appointment there. And all of these changes will be saved for you folks. Clinical notes is private and your eyes only, so you will not give us access to this data specifically inside of your account, uh, whereas the appointment information is saved. You also notice that there is a update log per appointment. This is important for HIPAA compliance and logging. It's also important for transparency so our providers know what exactly is going on with their claims. As such, you'll see that the claim was added via the bulk add or multiple add appointments tool, and then it was edited and updated again, all on the same date here. You'll also notice that you can go back and see a log and then see that there has been an update here as well, all on the same appointment page. So we can get quite a bit of depth going in there. Of course, we can look at our appointments calendar and see those dates as well, getting back to that same date that we were just at. Anytime you have any questions or concerns about some of the features that we provide within our billing uh, EHR, let us know. We'll be happy to help answer them, certainly. Um, but that really does cover the basics of using our EHR. We have quite a, a few of other, few other fantastic features that I'm going to mention at this point. But in terms of just making sure that you're submitting your billing on an ongoing basis, this nine or so minute run through of a demo account should give you a sense of how you're going to go about updating your information inside of your Therapy account. Again, of course, when you sign up with us, we're happy to help do all of the copying and pasting from your existing information, EHR, or whatever format it is in today, into your new account. Again, for free as part of our setup, and because of our month-to-month uh, -month contract and business associates agreement, we're really trying to encourage folks to give us a shot at Therathink because we think that we're going to be uh, working together long term as a result of it. So we do as much as we possibly can of the heavy lifting up front for you to make sure the transition is smooth and easy. Again, I want to draw our attention to a couple other features that might be kind of useful or interesting. Of course, you can search for your clients at our dashboard here, again, just by going to the, the Therathink logo and going into the dashboard, or any time that you log back into your account. You can also search for appointments by a check number. So if you get a check in the mail from an insurance company, you can go ahead and review 
your appointments associated with that check number. Of course, if there's an insurance company that you don't know about, you can just look for the brand and see if we have it in our system. If not, send us an email. We'll happy to be, be happy to bill for them. And likewise, if there's a diagnosis that you know about but you don't know the ICD-10 code for it, go ahead and look it up here. All useful resources for you folks. Calendar link again, and then you can see your appointments here. One other great feature besides the uh, super bill feature, which we did go over per client, um, but we can go quickly to that as well, where you'll see another drop down here, select the client's name, and generate again a sa the same sort of super bill as well. Click to generate. You can also do it with an email. But drawing our attention back to clients, send intake forms. This will enable your account, Therathink, to send an email to a sp prospective client for them to add their demographic and insurance information directly to your account. Just on a phone call for your initial conversation or potentially just in the email that they've sent over, you can refer them uh, to this page, look at a, uh, an email to register, and you'll get a notification as well that they have registered. You'll also get their demographic and ins insurance information saved into your account. We'll then check their eligibility and benefits by calling up their insurance plan and we do that within two business days and send you folks both an email back letting you know how the coverage shakes out so that you can work together uh, in the most appropriate manner. So again this feature is very simple you just need to gather up their first name and email address uh, to be able to send them the intake invitation and from that by clicking the send intake button here you'll be able to uh, invite them to go through a registration and secure uh, process to add their information to your account directly, signing the appropriate consent forms uh, where needed. And folks, that's a very quick but hopefully helpful summary of our application and EHR for our providers. If you folks do have questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me, Denny, at Therathink. That's my email address, D-E-N-N-Y at T-H-E-R-A-T-H-I-N-K dot com. Feel free to send me an email. I can answer some of your questions. Phone call would be 206-693-4204 for any sorts of questions about um, getting started with billing. And looking forward to working with you folks. Um, and hopefully this has been instructive as well for new providers who are just getting started uh, we'll refer to this as a guide answering questions as well, but we'll always be available for phone calls um, and support to help out. Hopefully you folks have enjoyed this walkthrough of our application panel, and until next time, thanks.